30 brand new developments on the potential ferry service linking St. Petersburg and Tampa. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paul Legrome. And I'm Laura Harris. A new high speed ferry between downtown Tampa and St. Pete could soon be the answer to traffic problems. But there is one major hurdle we found out about tonight. ABC Action News reporter Ashley Orr shows you. This is what you're used to if you commute between Tampa and St. Pete, but soon you'll be able to cruise across the bay. A ferry sounds fantastic to help get over to the beaches and all the tourist attractions and not have to get stuck in all of the car traffic. Kimberly Nance lives in Tampa but likes to relax in St. Pete. She says she'll be one of the first to take the ferry from the convention center in downtown Tampa over to Vinoy Basin in St. Pete. The ferry pilot program would launch in November and run through April with a one-way ticket expected to be about 10 bucks. So much more worth sitting an hour to an hour and a half in traffic, paying for parking once you get somewhere. I mean, you have to put it all together. Both cities and both counties will each pay $350,000. St. Pete's contribution comes from BP settlement funds. And even out-of-towners here for the Rays game say the ferry will bring Tampa Bay together. We'd stay here longer. We'd enjoy more of the amenities of Tampa itself. And I think it would bring the Rays experience more to being part of Tampa than just St. Pete with less hassle. Especially leaving the games and not having to drive in traffic, getting out of that area. Pinellas County is the last government to approve the program. They vote Tuesday. In Tampa, I'm Ashley Yor, ABC Action News.